Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Carl's ESP32 S2 hosts. Uh, he has two of them uploaded right now, which is the 900NA. Basically, that's just your host, um, your goal 10 with the rest of the payloads. Um, and then he has the PS4 trainer with goal 10, WebRTE, PS4 debug, and Orbis's toolbox. Um, for the video, we're going to use the PS4 trainer one. Go ahead and select it. You have two options here with cache and without cache. Um, it's not going to really make a difference. Um, if you want to stay connected, then you can. It's not like you can get updated anyways. You're going to be connected just to a little module. So you can go ahead and just download that. And just go with standard download. Now I have it set up to download to my desktop. Uh, depending on where you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and just search for it. So I have mine right here. Go ahead and open up our flasher. Okay, and once it's open, we'll go ahead and select the proper COM port. If you're unsure, you can just go into your device manager. And just go into your ports. Mine is right here. So we'll go ahead and select COM12. Browse for our file, which is on our desktop. And we'll go ahead and select it. And we'll go ahead with wipe all data. Go ahead and hit flash. And it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we're just about done there, 99%. There we go. Wait for our final message. There we go. So we can go ahead and unplug it and plug it into our PS4. Okay, so now we're over to the PS4. We'll go ahead and get logged in. We'll jump over to our settings, go into our network, go ahead and set up internet connection using Wi-Fi, and go ahead and select Easy. Give it a few moments here to load the Wi-Fi connections, and once it does, go ahead and select Carl, and we'll type in the password 1 to 8, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. Shouldn't take too long to get connected. There we go, check in network environment. And we'll go ahead and back out of there. Now there's two ways to get on the host. You can go in through the user guide, that works as well. Or you can just back all the way out and go into the internet browser. Okay, and we'll go ahead and just give it a moment. It should load right up. And as you can see, we do have all the games. So if we scroll through, there is quite a few there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go with the jailbreak. So we'll scroll up, go ahead and select 900. And we'll give it a few moments here to load up our USB. Okay, so loading the XFact hat now. So we should see on supported file system. There we go. And we should get jailbreak complete, or jailbreak done. And once we do come in, you can see the payloads we have. We have the Orbis's toolbox, the PS4 debug, and the WebRTE. Um, let's go ahead and launch the Goal 10. Just go ahead and select it. Okay, so Goal 10 is loaded now. And it should load the configuration file that I've set up. So it loads the FTP and the bin loader server as well. Um, we won't need them for this, but we can go ahead and launch our WebRTE. Okay, so payload load it, and there we go. So before I go into cheats, what I like to do is just go ahead and hit the back button, just so I can be ready to uh, submit the cheats. I find that the web browser doesn't really load the greatest when you have a big game loaded. If it's a smaller game, it's fine. But uh, the game we're going to be using is uh, is Cold War, so it does take a little bit to load. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead and launch this, get it set up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so once we're loaded in, you can see my ammo does go down. Uh, my money, the same, it's just going up a little bit. If I go ahead and buy a door, you can see that it does go down. And obviously my health isn't bulletproof. So let's go ahead and just hit pause. 
Then we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button, open up our browser, and like I said with bigger games, it does take a little bit for the browser to actually open up. And it should automatically find our game. Just give it a few seconds. There we go. Go ahead and select it. Okay, we'll give it a few moments here just to get attached. The smaller the game is, the quicker this process goes. Okay, any moment. There we go. Trainer attached. Infinite health, infinite money, and infinite ammo. I should mention, if you do this here through your phone, you can go ahead and connect to the module itself or your computer. Go ahead and connect to it. Um, type in your PlayStation's IP here. It's a lot quicker for this to load up. But uh, either way, it does work. and It doesn't really take all that long. So we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. And we'll go back into the game. Go ahead and on pause. So we'll take a few shots. As you can see, our ammo does not go down and our money just went up. Go ahead and get hit a few times. And you can see that we are not dying. So we can go through and buy a few doors here just to show you that our money does not go down. Keep on going up. We'll buy some perks. Okay, we'll go through here. We'll buy the shotgun off of the wall. And you can see that we don't lose ammo on that as well by Jug. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I just want to jump on and show you that. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.